Hi guys, my name is Miss Klingsick and I'm a third grade teacher over at Southwood Valley Elementary School. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the assessment tool inside of Schoology um, so that you can be successful with this activity. Now, if you're watching this video, that means your amazing teacher assigned you an assessment inside of Schoology. Now, when it says assessment, don't think that it's going to be a test. An assessment is just kind of a different way for your teacher to give you a worksheet inside of Schoology. So it could be a test, but it also could just be a practice activity or a graded normal worksheet that they want you to complete. The reason we use the assessment tool instead of the assignment tool is that it gives us a lot of different options to have you answer questions. And I think you're really going to like some of them. OK, so here I am inside of this exam, my example Schoology course, and you can see I have here this example assignment. OK, so you're going to click on it. And it's going to open up to this page. So at the top is going to be the title of the assignment. So this is my example assignment. Then your teacher is going to give you some information. Some things that they could include are the time you have to take the assessment. They can set a time limit. They may not have a set time limit. So once you open where you push start attempt, there might be a timer. If they give you one hour, that means from the moment you click this button to one hour later, you have that time to finish this assessment. They may not set a time. If they don't put a time, then don't worry about it. You have as long as you need. The next thing they might put is attempts. This is how many times you can complete this assignment. They may allow you to do it more than once. Maybe they wanted you to do it over and over to see if you can get your grade higher. Um, they may only let you do one attempt. So just kind of look out for that. They also may put when is the this ass assessment available for you. So you can see here this one's due. You can complete this one between April 10th and April 12th. Um, and then you're also going to see some instructions that could include like make sure you have studied or make sure you have completed this activity first. Um, so this is just going to be a place where your teacher is going to give you instructions. Then from down here, you can kind of see what your grade is. We haven't taken this assessment yet, so there is no grade. Um, and then it tells you uh, how many attempts. So this one says you have made one of three attempts. So I actually started this one earlier today. Um, if you start the assessment and you have to leave and you still have time in the time frame, you can come back here and push the resume button. But if you need to start from the very beginning, you're going to push start attempt, which is what I'm going to do right now. All right. And so then it's going to open up to the very first question. OK, so you can see that at the top there is one of two questions. That means there are two questions on this assessment. If there were 10 questions, it would say one of 10. Over here to the side is going to be your timer. So if your teacher does assign a time limit, then this is what that's going to say. Most of the time they probably won't have a time limit um, and then this won't be there. But if they do have a time limit, like an hour, then that's going to be right there. Um, they might have instructions. And then down here is going to be where you answer your questions. I'm going to be showing you the drawing type of question because that's what you're going to be answering right now. Um, there could be lots of different choices, but um, your teacher will show you how to do those later on down the line. Okay. So um, up here again, one of two time limit. And then down here are the different questions. So this is question one to move on to question two, you push next. And there's question two. And then to review is like submitting. If you want to go back to question one, you click one and there you are. Now to the side are also some buttons. The review button right here looks like a little calendar. If you click on that, it just shows you the questions. And so you can cl click on them and hop around. This button is the accessibility. What it does is it allows you to change the color of your background. So if you read better with gray, you can read that. It allows you to change the font size and to zoom in and zoom out if you need to. I like black, oh, black on white, so I'm going to choose that one. But you can change it if it helps you read better. This button right here, which is a flag, allows you to flag a question. That would be a great way if you're not so sure about a question and you want to make sure you go back to it and know that, hey, I want to check my work, I would use the flag button. So if you want to go back and remind yourself, hey, I need to go check this question out, push this button. Okay. Um, you can also just unclick it to unflag something. And then this is to make it full screen, which we all know what that does. All right. OK, so those are the basic tools that you're going to see in Schoology. Now, another tool that you may see is this bar right here. Not everybody is going to have this 
only if your teacher turns it on for you based on your needs and your learning abilities and style. So this right here, when you see this, this is your tool to help you. It will read out loud parts of the questions. So what you do is you click on this hand and you click where you want it to start reading. Instructions. Read the statements on the right. Then read the sports on the left. And then you push the pause button to pause the read aloud. You push the stop button to completely stop it. If you want to use different tools, see how I just clicked the hand and then unclicked it. You also can use this screen mask which is like a highlight tool. So if you don't want to listen to the audio, but you would rather just have a uh, place marker, you can use that. Again, you click it to, un to make it go away. And then this gear is where you can change your settings. So you can make the speed faster or slower. You can text highlight um, and you can speech mode as well. So those are some other tools that you can use. Now, if this is in the way and you can't see, all you do is click this little arrow and it will be hidden for a little bit. But don't forget that it's there. If you need that tool, just click this arrow again and it will show back up. Okay. So again, if you have this tool, this is a great way for you to be able to hear a teacher, teacher, <laughs> read the instructions out loud to you. So now I'm gonna show you how to answer these drawing, uh, drawing questions. This is what you're gonna see on your reading assignment here in a little bit. So it says, read the statements on the right and then read the sports on the left. Draw a line between each sport and the statement that relates to that sport. Okay, so that means I'm having to draw. So you can see my mouse right here is a regular pointer, but down here it becomes a draw tool. So I can actually draw on this screen to answer my question. Now, that's clearly not doing what I'm supposed to. Over here, you can push clear and it gets rid of all your work. The undo button also does the same thing. But that way, like, let's say if I do this and that, and I just want to go back one step, I click undo. You can also redo. But I'm going to clear. So what I would do is I would read, okay, basketball, okay, into the statement. So what's, which of these statements match basketball? So basketball is a team sport. Um, you do bounce a ball while playing. It does involve a lot of running. It's playing on grass, no, and you swing a club while playing. No. Okay, next one. Football. It is a team sport. You don't bounce a ball. It does involve a lot of running. It is played on grass. Um, you don't swing a club. Okay, golf. It's not a team sport. You don't bounce a ball. It does not involve a lot of running. It is played on grass and you do swing a club. Okay, so you can see I have answered my question by drawing on this picture. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over to question two. All right, again, it says instructions, circle the soccer ball in blue, circle the ball, baseball in green. So I'm having to change my color. So what I would do for that is I'm gonna click right here where it says color picker and I'm gonna change it. So I'm gonna change it to blue. So I'm gonna circle in blue and then I'm gonna change it again to green for the baseball. Boop. And I'm done with that. And then I'm finished. I'm actually going to scoop myself up a little bit. I want to show you this right here where it says review. That means, okay, I'm going to check my answer so I can go here and see, okay, do I like that? Next. Do I like that? Review. When you are finished, you're going to push this finish button. It says all questions have been attempted. Do you want to submit the activity now? Okay. If you accidentally push that, then push no and go back. If you are 100% sure you're going to push yes, and it's gonna turn in your work. And then you can see, it says your activity has been submitted. And I can see my attempt, attempt two was submitted. And you can see it has the time spent, which will eventually show up. And then the last modified. Now, sometimes it will automatically grade and you'll be able to see your grade right away. If it doesn't, that means your teacher has to go back and look at your um, work to see what your score is. All right. So that is the basics of an assessment in Schoology. I hope you guys are excited about using this tool and hopefully this video helps you. Okay. Bye.